Hello there, Scorpio. Here we are again to do another tarot slash intuitive slash fairy slash whatever reading for about seven days from whenever you watch this. So it doesn't really matter when it was uploaded. It matters when you click on it. That is when it is supposed to be rele relevant for you. So calling in guys, calling in angels, anyone from the highest good for Scorpio and Scorpio cross watchers, please. Here we go. What we got one. Okay. What do we have here? Knight of Cups in reverse. Ugh. Nice. That was good times. Okay. Knight of Cups in reverse. So what are the knights? The knights are, well, they're the ones who give the offer. There's the page who has news, there's the knights who have offers, there's the queens who receive, and there's the kings who give. So we're talking about an offer, but this is in reverse, and it's like, I just heard off the table. Like there was something on the table, and now it's off the table. And I'm not really sure why. I'm sure we'll find out. So let's see. Yeah, the fool in reverse as well. What's the fool's brand new start? So that's what I, that was probably going to be the offer was to have a clean slate or to start over or something like that. And now it's like off the table. Just no. So there might be a Sagittarius involved, but we have... See, here's what I like about the good tarot. Okay, this is technically temperance, um, but it is, I need to get that out of the way. Technically temperance, or yeah, but it is in this deck, it's called the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Um, it's patience, and temperance is technically patience. I mean, if you have the two cups and you're trying to temper the water, it takes like a minute. And if you just stick your hand in a boiling hot water, or an ice cold water, what happens, you get burned either way, hot or cold, right? And here we have the eight of pentacles in reverse, and these came out together. So it's like for the past, seeing the one and the four, so it's a five, so probably five weeks maybe, we have been trying to have patience. Jeez. Trying to have patience to... Um, to see the abundance, to see, okay, so, 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 the, so the Eight of Pentacles is a, is a tree, right? It started with a seed, it was watered, it was nurtured, it was whatever, it, all the things needed to be done well enough so that it turned into a tree, except that this is supposed to be a fruit bearing tree, meaning like if you plant an apple tree, eventually you're going to get apples, right? That's not this. This is patiently waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's like, where's the abundance? So for some of you, this could be a job. Um, we have a cello here. So it might be some kind of creative project that we are embarking on or have been embarked upon or whatever. Maybe like a hobby, you know. Of course, Maybe you don't think it's a hobby. Just whatever. You see what I'm saying? This is this the job, the thing, the pentacles that I'm talking about. I'm also intuiting this musical instrument. And it is it's like I've been patient forever for this to to get to grab one of these pentacles and take a bite out of it. And with this offer being off the table, I just want to be like, you know what? I'm not no, I'm not starting something new. No, I'm not. I'm not even going to go down this road anymore because I feel like all it does is test patience and you never get a... It's like the tree is there, right? It's there. It's happening. It's growing and flowing and whatever. But you never get to pick the app. It's, it's like a, it's like, um, unfulfilled, I guess is the word. I think that when the tree was planted, there was 
a vision of what it was going to look like. And then you could even taste the abundance. You know what I'm saying? Like you could, you are, had such a clear vision of what this was supposed to look like that in your own mind's eye, you could take one of those apples and, and eat it. And it was so fucking good. But, but, but here we are forever and ever and ever seemingly five weeks, five years. We have an eight and five. That's like 13 years, 13 months, whatever. And it's just like, I get this minute of, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. It's off the table. Like, no. Whatever this is that was supposed to bring abundance, you had a clearer vision of, right? So moving on to the Brian Froud Fairies Oracle. For Scorpio, please. Yeah, okay, so, and here's probably why. Okay, this is the undressing of a salad. And it's like, here we have one person in the center here. And it's, I just got, okay, so I used to play volleyball in college. And I was typically the libero. And if you know anything different about college volleyball than like high school ball, the libero is a specialty position and they wear a different color jersey, right? But they're noticeable because they're the ones that have to, it's their job to not let the ball hit the floor ever. It doesn't matter if you have to run into the stands. It doesn't matter if you have to run onto the other side of the court. If it's your three volleys, you can do basically anything you want to make sure that that ball does not hit the ground. And everybody knows that that position is doing that because they're wearing a different color jersey. So what I'm saying is like, this is like the libero, right? But what are the balls? I mean, look at all these other people. There is a seemingly matching character, but she looks like ratchet, like just exhausted. And she's about to drop the ball. You know what I mean? It feels like she doesn't really, she looks tired. And then there's this one and then that one. And then there's one up here that's looking crazy jumping on this person and this one down here is just like trying to be like you know and then so here we are like holding 50,000 balls and then it's like tra la 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 la, -la. you want to do this new thing and this guy <laughs> this dude is like are you kidding me just no just just offers off the table I'm not doing this anymore it's too hard it's too hard it's not even too hard. It's not about being hard. There's just, you want to talk about when you try to manifest something and, and you think that the manifestation doesn't work. It doesn't have anything to do with the manifestation not working. It has everything to do with not having the space available to bring the manifestation in, right? And here we are again with another instrument. This is the piper. This is the soul song. This is the thing that plays that, you know, seduces a person to joy and bliss and happiness and here it is and so talk about like yin and yang duty versus soul 3d versus spirit right and so and here we have the again with the oops wrong one here we have this again with the balls and they're like no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I just feel like there's a moment where it's like, you know what? No. Like, offers off the table. I mean, it might be different for everybody, but it's like one of these has to be chosen, I think. I'm sure we'll see farther. Who else do we have for Scorpio? And Scorpio cross watches this week, please. Ace of Cups, the singer of the chalice. This is the thing that if you had one giant cup to hold all of your love, this is the, all of the energy that would swirl around and get poured into it. And so I'm talking about a choice here between the soul song or the earth song. This one is the soul song. It's the, it makes your soul tick, I guess. And then this one over here is the earth song. 
This is the 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 actual happenings that are happening in front of your eyes, right? There was only one cop. So you choose. You choose. <laughs> Who knows? What else do we have? Oh. We have a baby. So this is a new beginning. This is, oh, I heard another seed. So yeah, so we have this seed right here that turned into a tree that you never got to actually get the fruit from, right? And so it's like, okay, and then, you know, you're having to choose one or the other. And by way of choosing one of these, you're essentially picking a new seed, even if, like, let's say this one was the one that you've already been doing, okay? But by way of dropping the other stuff out of the way, you're then able to flourish with that. And then you have this new seed. Or maybe you got somebody pregnant or someone got you pregnant or whatever. Who knows? It's the baby. It's a baby. Like, that has to be one of the messages. Am I right? <laughs> but that's not the only message. It's, it's, it's hope. It's joy. It's bliss. It's, it's, it's pure innocence. It's, it's, and if we're talking about making a choice, it's talking about making a choice directly from, um, from a spirit place, right? Because it's been very clear that this thing that you've been trying to create via this like love, passion, whatever, it's not producing. So I want to see what happens. I want to find out why there has to be a choice. And I want to find out where it goes after that. So, and then we'll clarify all of them, of course. Scorpio, so lightweight reading. We're talking about hobbies this week. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Um, I'll check you out next week. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see where this goes, the link for the description is in the box below. The um, subscribe button is, like, here-ish somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Um, either way, thank you so much and I'll catch you next week. Bye, sport.